Hey, what's up? It's Paula Ware. Great day. Happy Sunday. Wherever you are, I just want to send you a great blessing this morning. And I pray that your day is going well. And if it's not, I want you to do something out of the ordinary. How about extraordinary? Yeah, that's what I did today. You know, I um, had a little bit of a discouraging experience a, a couple of weeks ago. And I realized that the enemy wanted my confidence. Now, it might surprise some of you because I'm very vocal and I am pretty present often. But the truth of the matter is I lost my confidence in myself. This is not arrogance that I'm talking about. I'm talking about courageousness. I'm talking about a level of confidence that comes with assurance in the Lord. Now, for some that may look a certain way on the outside, right? We can all mask how we feel on the inside. That's easy to do. But expressing how you feel on the inside when it's joyful, it may look a little bright. It might look a little loud. So today, you know what I did? I put on the brightest clothes that I have. And as I was dressing myself, I heard such a beautiful message to myself. Today, I'm dressed like my future. It's pretty bright. It takes confidence for me to say that, but it takes even more confidence for me to believe that. What are you believing today? If you're not believing in yourself, yourself that's connected to your purpose in God, yourself that's connected to power, dominion, authority in Jesus Christ, if you're not confident in who you are, it's likely the enemy has had reign in your life. Yeah, it's true. I'm speaking because I know it for myself. I'm not coming to you from a place I don't know about. I'm coming to you from a place where I have made a decision. I'm coming out of those cycles of depression. I'm coming out of those cycles of lack. I'm coming out of those cycles when people could say things to me and my feelings were hurt and I'd crumble immediately. I'm coming out of a place where darkness tried to take my light. Yeah, we all have a light on the inside of us. If you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're now a new creation in Christ. It should look differently. It should sound differently. There should be evidence of life on the inside of you and sometimes on the outside. Yeah, if it means changing your clothes today, if it means bright earrings, if it means loud and obnoxious shirt and pants and heels, do it. Have fun today because life is short. The last thing I'd like to see for you is for you to carry on in life, not living to the fullest of your capacity, not living life joyfully. Because remember, the truth of the matter is this. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Sound the alarm. Show us what your bright future looks like today. Come on, let's have fun with it.